Hey, ladies and germs, we are back with another episode of the mini series. And we are checking out the Nashville sounds here. And the sounds did not start our boy. So let's check out over here. Omaha is starting John Zoidberg. He went over three, as you can see. There is Bowman, 0 for 4. Not a good game for either of them in game number two. Then we look here. Bowman batting last was one for four with a run scored and a stolen base. Omaha Zoidberg, there he is, 0 for four. Not great. Okay, moving on. We've got Bowman, two for five with two RBIs. Okay, with a homer. All right, boy. Get that homer, Bowman. Omaha. Oh, Lynch is on Omaha as well. He went 3 for 4. Zoiberg went 0 for 3. He's still batting 0 in the series. Lynch gets an RBI in the game. Now we move to the final game of the series in which Omaha would win the series. And there we go. Omaha. Lynch with a 2 for 3 game. Zoiberg doesn't play, but Lynch with those two ribbies on a double. That is going to have the Omaha Storm Chasers moving on to play Sacramento. And they're going to go to a game five, and they're going to lose it three to two. Oh, we got to check this out. Okay, so Sacramento doesn't have anyone of interest, but there's Lynch two for three with a ribby, and Zoyberg one for four with a run scored. Okay, Lynch gets the ribby. He's hit by a pitch as well. Now we'll look at this box score, and Omaha Lynch goes 3 for 6, Zoiberg goes 0 for 3. Uh, nothing special there, Zoiberg was caught stealing in that game. Then we have Lynch going 1 for 4, he's petting over 400 on the series. Zoiberg goes 2 for 3, getting his average up a little bit, he hits a double in the game, but they still lose. Then Lynch goes 4 for 5 with an RBI. He is killing it in this series. Hits two doubles, which leads to an RBI. He does have an error in the field and a stolen base, so all over the place for Lynch in that game. Zoidberg goes 0 for 3 in the final game, and Lynch goes 0 for 4 in the final game. And Zoidberg batted just over 100. Lynch also had an error in the field. It's kind of interesting that Lynch could turn around and you know, go 0 for and still bat over 400 in the series. All right, but they end up losing that series. And then we have Harrison Mann going 2 for 4 for Rochester. Uh, he hit a double in that game. Where are you at, man? There he is. He went 0 for f Oof, No, you don't want to go 0 for it. And two errors in the field. What a horrible game. It'll win, no less. And then we'll check out this one. Man is going to go two for three with a run scored. Okay, we could take that. Caught stealing. And the final game in which would end their championship hopes. 0 for four with a walk and a strikeout. So not too good there for Harrison. Man. Now we move into the mages and Kansas City would win their wild card game. Now is Allen going to play at all? That's the big question. Um, there's nobody on Cleveland of interest, so that's not really going to make a difference to us. But, nope, Allen does not get in the game for Kansas City. So, not worried about it. Moving on, as Kansas City does win that wild card game, and now they will... Oh no, Cleveland won the wild card game against Kansas City. So now Cleveland's taking on the White Sox. Who's of interest in Cleveland? Oh, are we looking for... I think we are looking for him, but I don't think he's going to play. Um, Nope, he didn't play. And again, Allen didn't play either. I think we're looking for... Um, oh, what the hell's his name? Hobie's guy. We're looking for him. But he's not there, and neither is Allen. So, like, they're both not playing. 
So it's really annoying. They're both just sitting on the bench. And there's Justin Jones, though. He's playing for the White Sox in this series. And he's getting a couple hits out there. Still nothing doing for Hobie's boy. There's Justin Jones. He's batting 142 in the series. Not great for his very first postseason appearance. Also grounded into a double play in that game. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing in Cleveland. Obviously, there's Justin. He goes one for three. That gets him to a 176, I think that said. So, the Indians are going to move on. I just don't think that we're going to see Hobie's dude at all. Mr. Carmichael. That's who we've been looking for. All right, let's see. Houston going up against Boston. And Terrific's going to get the save in game number one to secure the win in the 10th inning. Big time. Then we go to game number two. Terrific does not pitch. That's fine. Then we go to game number three. All right, didn't blow a save. I'm fine with it. We will take it. And then we'll go to game number four, which would not the series up. Definitely a save chance, and Tom Terrific gets it with two strikeouts. Allows two hits, but gets two strikeouts. Gets through that with his second save of the postseason. And then they would lose the final game the game five in which he does not pitch so wasn't terrific's fault he did everything he could he got the save opportunities presented in front of him now do we see if hobie can get a ring on the bench and he does not so no ring on the bench for him and does he at all play mr carmichael doesn't look like he's going to Whoever we're looking for, he got no shot. I'm pretty sure it's it's Hobie's guy at this point, though. 2023? Should be. Okay, so we'll move into 2024. Jacksonville against Mobile. Jacksonville is what I think we're interested in here. Oh, no, Mobile has Zoidberg. So Zoidberg grounds into a double play in that game. That's who we're looking at. We're looking at Mobile for jo for Zoidberg. And what do we got here? What do we got here? Zoidberg. What does he finish with? He finishes the series with a 220 batting average. 230? 230 batting average. My bad. But his team is taken right out of it. And that's a little sad. He did get a double in a game, though. So, good for Mr. Zoidberg. Now we move to the other side of the coin, where we're looking at those Nashville Sounds again. And they're going to get taken out of it. And Allen, the third, Paris Allen, the third, is going to play in this one. He goes over four with two strikeouts, as he is now with the Nashville Sound. He also had two errors in the field, so not good. Then, Paris Allen's going to DH, and he's going to go two for four. Okay, so he did well there. Hit himself an RBI double. And in the final game, he would go one for four with a run scored and a strikeout. He hit himself a double in the game. So good for Paris Allen. He did some things in the next couple of games. Now we move to the Mages. In October of 2024, it is the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies. And we're really just looking to see if Boyd got into the game, which he did not. So, being that the Pirates lost, Boyd, still no playoff experience for you, buddy. Mr. Caleb Boyd. So now, 
we go to the wild card game. Rays and Astros goes 12 innings. Tampa Bay gets the dub. Uh, terrific does not pitch. But Archibald would blow the save in the ninth inning, giving up five runs. So, Bilp and Archibald's first postseason experience is not good. But his team bails him out in the 12th inning, and now we'll see if Archibald can do good against the Blue Jays in a minute. As we will move to this series right here where we have the Brew Crew taking on the Nationals, and the Brew Crew have been eliminated. So let's take a look at some box scores. See if Mr. McBombers has gotten into the game at all, and I don't see him there. I do not see him there either. Let's see. Mr. McBombers, where are you? Nope. They're just not putting him in. He's riding right bench at this point. Nope. Never saw the light of day for Mr. McBombers. So, sad. His team didn't bail him out and give him a free ring either. So, we will move. Where the hell are we moving to? Alright, there we go. We're going to go back to Bilp and Archibald. The only man left, I believe. Oh, no, we're looking at Cleveland. Ah, Cleveland. Yes, I did forget about Cleveland. Is Cleveland playing him? No. I still do not see Mr. Carmichael taking the field here. Cleveland's still a pretty good team. They got to lose some of these uh, star players first before they start bringing in some young guns. So, he did not play there. And now we're taking a look at the series of the American League Championship Series after Archibald will get through the Blue Jays. And let's see if he pitched in Game 2. He did two straight saves for Bilp and Archibald. Still a 10.12 ERA in the playoffs just because of that horrible explosion in the wild card game against him. But three straight saves to sweep the Toronto Blue Jays is huge for the Australian closer. So we will move against Cleveland. They would win. They would lose. They would lose. It's two and two. It's three and two against Bilpin. And Cleveland will move to the World Series. Okay, so let's take a look. Bilpin Archibald. We're looking to see... Nope, Carmichael's still not getting into games. Archibald did not pitch in game number one in a 12-2 win. You wouldn't think that he would anyways as a closer. Carmichael did not get into game number two either, and Archibald did not pitch in it. Carmichael did not get into game number three, and Archibald did not pitch in it. Now in an 8-1 win, you wouldn't think Archibald would get in. Carmichael did not play, and Archibald did not pitch. Okay, another game, an 11-2 game. Carmichael, again, not going to get in it. And Archibald, not going to get in it either. So, to the final game, <laughs> in which Carmichael does not see the light of day, and neither does Archibald. So, none of them play in a series against each other. And now it is the Indians and the Nationals. Does Carmichael get a free World Series ring? Actually, let's take a look. Is Carmichael even there? He's not with the Major League team somehow. No wonder we haven't seen him. Durr. Alright, so we're just going to sim this and... See if his organization wins a World Series. Thank you guys so much. His organization does end up winning the World Series. I appreciate you guys so much. Unfortunately, he won't get a ring. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty more coming your way. Thank you all.